They were like the worst AliExpress hair. It's like, well, ever. I need to know what this is, so I don't, I, I don't buy it. Now to get them. Okay. Woo shit. <laughs> ugly niggas. Ugly. Yeah, I think you should just put the What's up, YouTube? So this is going to be kind of like random. I don't have any makeup on. So um, this is this these little draw-on things, these little brows right now. This is my submission for the five-minute makeup challenge. Like, look at my face. I don't. Anyway, so this is a very um, important video, guys, because um, this is going to be a review video for some hair that I gave my cousin that was sent to me to review but because the company did not respond to any of my emails um like questions and stuff that I had I like never reviewed the hair and honestly that was like what a couple months ago but she asked me for some hair and I was like sure you can have the hair or whatever and she said she was gonna color it pink so this is what the hair looked like well this is what the hair was supposed to look like I'm kind of Okay, so this is what the hair looks like now. Why don't you turn around? It doesn't look like much. This is what the hair looks like, y'all. <laughs> this is what it looks like. Horse hair. Horse hair. It's whole hair. It's not virgin hair. It's whole hair. No, I'm just kidding. But um, this is the company. Well, I'm... Turn around. I'll have you turn back around in a second. And, you know, I care about my little subscribers. I have 5,000 subscribers. I'm so happy for you guys. And I know you follow me. And I know you follow a lot of other girls who do LA Express reviews. And I get sent hair as well. But I just want to let you guys know, from my bottom of my heart, I don't want you guys wasting your money on certain hairs. And this is one of the hairs. Because she spent her art. How much money did your mom spend to get your hair done? Well, actually came out of my pocket. Oh, uh, my, my, I uh, spent a nice little penny. Um, I feel really bad. Well, how, just tell them how much money you spent. Um, for the installation of the sew-in, since it is a sew-in, I didn't put it in as a wig, wig or anything like that. Um, it was um one seventy-five, and then plus uh dying of three bundles because I had three bundles it was uh, $25 each for each bundle to be dyed um yeah it ended up coming out to like 250s so yeah I'm not the one to be putting out bad hair reviews or whatever but um it's kind of personal because it's my cousin so I do want to put it out there for you guys like while some hair AliExpress hair is not bad some hair is like really really bad and you want to be aware and this is hair that was sent to me to review so I know a lot of you guys are like oh they send you guys good hair and they send us bad hair but I think they really just send everybody the same type of hair because this was for me to review and she oh my gosh I don't know why she decided to curl the front but this is what the hair looks like I really want we're gonna do a close-up in a second all right so we're gonna be doing some close-ups right now this is the hair look like horse hair hold on let me focus it for you guys This is what the hair is looking. Ooh, oh <laughs> look at God. that. And it sheds like a lot. Look at that. Like, nay. Like, <laughs> that's a horse if you guys don't know. What the hell? Look at this. Look at this. Strands. You can't even curl it. Once she says she can't curl the hair. Look at this. It burns on the flat iron. Like, come on, y'all. Y'all probably know by now that that hair really ain't nothing, but, like, no. <laughs> it, it looks like Barbie hair. It looks like Cynthia's hair before it fell out. Like, I promise, you guys. And so this is what it looks like. It just looks like a hot mess. So for me, um, you guys, I know you guys want to know what the who the hair company is and all that other stuff and for me i'm not the one to put names out there like that because unlike y'all they have my email address they can harass me i've been harassed a couple of times okay um about not putting up my videos on time or whatever and this company has my email address so the first time they contacted me i did not respond to them because i saw a couple of reviews and i was just like hmm okay but then like a few months later and I saw more updated reviews. The people kind of like the hair. Like they they 
didn't have anything bad to say. So I was like, okay, well, let me review your hair. And that's fine. So they sent me the hair, and I asked them a few questions, but they never responded to my emails. Any questions I had about the hair or just in general, like, okay, well, um, can you give me a little bit more information or what do I do if this happens or so-and-so? I got nothing so I just didn't review the hair and I let them know I wasn't gonna review it I was just like I'm I'm not doing it so right now I'm pretty much gonna take this hair out or her mom's gonna take the hair out and we're gonna put some hair in that she's had for years guys like I'm in college and I've had it since prom so like that's like a year I've had it for like a year and a half almost like it's really good quality um we can put the link at the bottom if she wants i'll put it down below um okay so i mean this is and this is hair that i've dyed it's the same hair it's brazilian it's hair that i've dyed and it's still good like okay i'm gonna need you to organize that by length before i sew it in um but i spent uh <coughs> i think 160 170 I think I mean it's worth the money especially if I've had it over a year and Wait, I you paid it. a total 160 for all the hair yeah for it's a 160 per bundle oh shit so like I said there's some hair that is super expensive but it's okay how do I say this some hair that you're gonna buy it costs a lot of money and it's probably from the same hair sites. There are some hair stores. There are some hair companies that order from AliExpress. And just slap on a pretty package. And call it what it is. And you're paying like three times the amount. For some hair that you can probably get for like a quarter of the price. But that's the thing with AliExpress. Is what is the call? It's called the Russian roulette of hair sites. You don't know what you're going to get. And for me you guys. Like I literally. When I do my hair reviews. While I might sound monotone sometimes, I'm just trying to get all this information out to you guys. I'm trying to get, like, all the facts straight because I know you guys want to know about length. You guys want to know about specs, how much I put in my hair, how I sewed it on, and, like, does it tangle, does it shed, all that other stuff. And in my videos, sometimes I do come off somewhat monotone, but it's like, I'm trying to get this information out to you guys. And honestly, I feel like... Um, that kind of, it causes my personality to take a back seat, but I'm trying to come back to you guys and just, you know, do the videos that I feel like I should be doing it, reviewing them how I want to review it. So, um, this is going to be the first step. This video is the first step. It's just basically just telling y'all like what's good, what's not good. And it's like, there's going to be some hair that you're going to pay a lot of money for and it's going to be worth your money. Sometimes it's not. What do you think? I agree. You spend a lot more at the beauty supply and um, that's it lasts the same am amount of time. So <sighs> I think you would get your money's worth with purchasing from some of the sites on AliExpress. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, you it's like it's literally Russian roulette, guys. And you just got to... You got to you got to do your research and I said this in my video last year. Do your research. Don't just go off of one person. This is just to show you girls who are on YouTube reviewing hair, they don't always get good hair. This was sent to me. This had my name and address on it. This was for me to review. And if I was one of those colorist type of people like No. No guys. But I'm done. I'm done. I just wanted to come and just finish up this little this little powwow with you guys thanks for watching and i'll be back